This is a 160 Q&A practice test. Plaintiff attorney, Ms. MS period, Lewis, capital L-E-W-I-S. Defense attorney, Ms. MS period, West, capital W-E-S-T. And we'll start with the plaintiff attorney. Ready? The tile specifically, yes. Okay, so beyond the sidewalk in front of the building where it, it connects with the parking lot, they weren't responsible for anything extending beyond that into the parking lot? No. Okay, okay, did you have any people other than the Dave Porter staff who reported to you directly? Yes, the Ron Weston Weston, his son, Ron Weston Jr. Okay, and what was his job title? His was, oh gosh, are we referring to Ron Weston Jr.? Yes, okay. He was called basically a helper. Helper? Yeah, to me. Anyone else? I had security underneath me. Security, I oversaw the security also. What were your hours? When did you arrive and when did you leave? Most of the time I arrived at 7 and got off at 3.30. Okay, just because I'm not familiar with what a building supervisor has to do, could you familiarize me a little bit more what your day was like once you arrived? And just give me an idea what you did the time you got there until you left. First thing I did when I got there is look out and make sure the housekeepers were cleaning the tiles and make sure everything on the tiles were swept and clean. I had to evaluate the weather to see if the mats needed to go out towards the end of my job with PMI. Then from there I went up to my plant which consists of air handlers, boilers, chillers, not chillers but chill water pumps to make sure that everything was running correctly and evaluate all the equipment. And then I went down to see what calls had come in. Calls meaning voicemails or calls meaning work orders. Yes, work orders, okay. We had a book from the housekeeping that if there's any jobs that they found through the night, like a leaky sink, plug toilet, whatever, I would either do it myself or send Ron Weston Jr. off to do. Okay, and then I had two or three reports I had to do per week. What reports? One was the evaluation of the property repairs. Gosh, what was the other one? I can't remember what the other one was. That's okay. Drawing a blank. I had to also go out and get bids for MPI for, for the reconstruction of doctor's offices. Construction meaning new construction or remodel. Just remodel of doctor's offices. I had to get up to three bids and report back to my supervisor. I had to stay in contact with the hospital director of facilities. Who was that? That was Bill Jacobs to make sure we had a connection all the time. Basically just to make sure everything went smooth. If they needed something, my bosses needed something, they called me and I got whatever they needed. Okay, who was your boss? Jake Ramos was my first boss. From when until when? From 2002 to I'm going to say 2005. Okay, I could be off by a year. Okay, that's fine, thank you. Can I ask, did you say Jake Ramos? Yes, Jake Ramos, the person that started the company, which I thought was a very generous man. He was a very awesome guy. Anyways, from there it went to Mark, Mark Hansen, and Bob Arnold. Do you know how to spell Mark's last name? No, sorry. Say it one more time. Hansen. Hansen, okay. Do you know when they were your supervisors from when to when? They were kind of, Bob was kind of my direct supervisor, okay, at from 2003 to I think he left at 2005, I'm going to say. And Mark, Mark was just kind of his shadow, his person that he went to, I guess. I don't know. They kind of were both my boss, got you at the time. Okay, and then after 2005, it, it went to Sam. I don't remember his last name. It's okay, but it was Sam from when until when. It was Sam for about eight months, I think. Okay, and then, and then it went to, I think, a lady named Beth, I want to say. That was only for about three months. And then from there, that's the most recent. I should remember his name. I'm drawing a blank. 
but this was from, it looks like it would be approximately 2007 until your termination, the last period of time after Beth was your supervisor. For the entirety of that time, it was a single individual. Sometime in 2009, I do believe, maybe 2010, they changed my boss to be Kurt, a guy named Kurt, that also worked in my office, and he was supposed to be the property manager, okay? And then it went to this, basically, this last guy, because they fired him. They fired who? Kurt, okay? So this individual, whose name you can't remember, came after Kurt. Yeah, and he was the last one. I'm just drawing a blank. If I remember it, I'll tell you. I'm drawing a complete blank on him. Does, was it Drew Rios? Drew Rios, I was told. When Drew Rios was in the office with me, he was the same level as me. I was over the buildings. He was over the renting out the spaces and collecting the money. And I brought that up a few times with my bosses. That is what they told me is we were equals, but with entirely different job duties, correct? Correct. Okay, who owned this building when you were employed there? Objection may call for speculation. Lacks foundation. If you know, join. I do know. Then please answer. It was Healthcare Services, Inc. Which building are we referring to for the record? The 601-602 buildings. Those were all the hospital prior to MPI buying, leasing them. Thank you. Okay, and you said prior to MPI that leasing the buildings because I was told that they leased the buildings. You mean, le mean leasing the spaces in the buildings to other people? No, the footprint of the buildings. I'm confused. I was told that MPI leased the buildings, okay, for 50 years to rent them out. Okay, rent the spaces out in the buildings. Okay, so in that regard, do you what is your understanding of what MPI was responsible for at that location? Objection calls for speculation, lack of foundation, expert witness, and legal testimony from a lay witness may call for a legal conclusion as to responsible. You can still answer if you know the two buildings. All right. The word list. We have a long word list. Ron Weston, capital R-O-N, new word, capital W-E-S-T-O-N. And then we had Ron Weston Jr., so Jr. is J-U-N-I-O-R. P-M-I, all p caps, no periods, no spaces, P-M-I. And you know, I may have said MPI as well. <laughs> so PMI or MPI. MPI, all, all caps, no periods, no spaces. Bill Jacobs, capital B I L L, new word, capital J A C O B S. Jake Ramos, capital J A K E, new word, capital R A M O S. Mark Hansen, capital M-A-R-K, new word, capital H-A-N-S-O-N. Bob Arnold, capital B-O-B, new word, capital A-R-N-O-L-D. Sam, capital S-A-M. Beth, capital B-E-T-H. Kurt, capital K-U-R-T. Drew Rios, capital D-R-E-W. New word, capital R-I-O-S. Healthcare Services, Inc., capital H-E-A-L-T-H. New word, capital C-A-R-E. New word, capital S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S, -E -E comma, Inc., capital I-N-C, period.
And that's it for the word list. And that will conclude our 160 Q&A practice test.